We bring you a harrowing first-hand look at what it means to be fighting in the cold, hard hills there. A hundred thousand U.S. combat troops are waging this war, and in the past months, the U.S. has pushed back the Taliban. But now it's spring, and that means the enemy is regrouping in the mountains. And our Mike Betcher was the only journalist with the 101st Airborne. They call themselves the No Slack Battalion. And they were ordered on the dangerous mission to take the fight to the enemy. Six soldiers would lose their lives, and Mike brings us a report on what he calls the fiercest fighting he's seen in his 30 years in war zones. On a freezing Afghan mountaintop, with Pakistan close enough to touch, the men of the 101st Airborne, known as No Slack Battalion, most in their 20s, some with only two weeks left on a year-long deployment, began their descent into hell. The Taliban were waiting in their safe haven, a narrow mountain valley, Barawala Kaleh. No foreign troops had ever dared come here, and once the furious attack began, we knew why. The Taliban were determined to convince the Americans to never come back. The enemy situation right now is they're shooting from a bunch of different places. No slack didn't budge as fire came in from above. Up where that smoke was right there! From below. Not just a few shots, but a barrage of bullets. Right! Get over here! They gave back as good as they got, killing more than 100 of their enemies. But ammo was running low. Gotta leave me with two. Take two. And a tense voice on a field radio announced the cost of coming here. I'll give you more information as I get it. Roger. Get some fire on this hill. Oh. Fire rained down from all directions for five relentless hours. I was following headquarters company. It's Captain Ed Bankston and I hugged a muddy mountainside. Third platoon, a short distance to our right, and first platoon to our left, all had wounded and dead. Go ahead, 1-6 Romeo. Flying straight into enemy fire, Air Force para-jumpers, known for their daring, attempted the first rescue. Their pilot was shot, and their helicopter turned back. I took an additional casualty. They are currently pinned down and need support, over. More medevac helicopters poured into the valley. This is the seventh medevac flight already in the last two hours. It's hard to get an exact number. We've been pinned down here. When the clouds lifted, helicopters and bombers descended. chaos there were miracles. Sergeant Matthew Mendez saved by his chest plate. Took it like a champ. What happened? We got shot. This is what it hit. You can see the rounds right there. Got shot on the ass. My tank bottle stopped it. <laughs> the one that was under yesterday. If you're not here, you'll never know. If you don't have this experience firsthand, you can't really uh, begin to explain to a person. And today, despite six dead and seven wounded, they are still going, inch by inch, bullet by bullet. Keep on fire! Mike Betcher, ABC News, Barawala, Calais, Afghanistan.